Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our blindish let's play of Shadow Hearts for PlayStation 2. My name is Flatless Burr. This is your story based gaming channel. In our last episode, well, let's just say things went down in a very big way. And will we ever see Yuri again? That's the question that, you know, I call this a blindish let's play because it's been 20 years since I played this game. And I can honestly say I don't remember any of this. And I have no idea what's going to happen. I, I could literally probably call a sublime let's play for the rest of this playthrough because I don't, I don't remember any of it. But I want to make sure I'm as honest and transparent as it can be, which is why it's blindish. But your guess is as good as mine what's going to happen next. Let's jump right in and try to figure this out, shall we? Shadow Hearts. Pretty cool uh, picture there. It's almost like it's asking for a change of CD. Remember those days where you would have like a game and you would have to change CD halfway through? Uh, I mean, this is PlayStation 2 era. I think Covenant has that. Because I think Covenant is two discs. But Shadow Hearts, the first one, is only one. Well, we're in Europe now. I guess we're chasing after uh, Roger Bacon. And we're going to Prague. This is unexpected. Like I said, I don't remember any of this moving forward. Six months later, ooh, a time skip. Prague. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. Ugh, oh, another hard day's work complete. Yes, and that was just too funny. He thought it was a poltergeist? It was just the lady next door doing aerobics. <laughs> oh, this is this is adorable. So it's like Alice has gone under Zuzan's wing learning about um exorcisms. Ah, yeah. oh, the world's a peaceful place. Anyway, how what do you say we get a bite to eat and a wind a bit? Are you, uh, asking me out for a drink? Ah, uh, you know me too well. <laughs> oh, welcome back. How did the exercising go? Another case solved? Impressive. Alright, let's take a look here. So, we're Alice and Susan. Does she still have the pedometer? No, she doesn't. Uh, let's see. I probably want to... Uh, we'll keep the Leonardo's bear. Oh, we have two pedometers. That's pretty good. Um, silence, paralysis, money up, money up. So we get 40% money. Is that how it works? I kind of need more money than item chance at the moment. For me, my philosophy is like rare item drops are probably going to happen late game. So the more money you can build up early game, the, the better off you're going to be. Uh, and that's just... I don't know, I could be wrong on that, but... Score, I, I... Oh, wow, look at this. Your rank is 28, Oingo. I don't think we've actually, um... We, we've actually, uh, seen this screen. Uh, battles, 95? Uh, zero of eights. That's right, we've never run away. We've gone berserk twice. Uh, unconscious eight times. The body remembers, 91% success rate. That's pretty good. With 72 out of 574, perfect. Uh, barely made it, ring perfect rate. Yeah, I don't think that number's gonna go up anytime soon. Uh, discount rate, 9% off. Uh, raise price rate, yeah, we could only raise it once because we only got one card. And we've walked 65 miles from Tokyo to Yokohama. This score system's really, really cool. Very, very neat. And I guess this is all the different monsters with all their elements. And NPCs. Oh, Roger Bacon. A British warlock who uses powerful magic. He is calm, collected, and calls himself Roger Bacon. But that is true. He is the legendary alchemist. But what's why is there a but? I mean, he kind of destroyed the entire Japan. I was going to say world, but Japan. Foxface. A mysterious man who steps out of the world and nightmare into the real world. He appears when the mouse speed of peaks. He wears the coat of the Japanese army. Yeah, and we're assuming this is Hayuga, right? Yuri's father. Mondor and Mayun. 
an expert acupuncturist. He raises what for proficiency. Strange, but he is a master of this field. He likes good looking men. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Yoshiko Kawashima. Called a star in the Hero of the Continent. She will do anything to achieve her goal and expert marksman. I wonder if she's still alive. Dehuai. An adept who lives in Kuhai Tao and protects Shanghai from external attacks. He plans on ruling and turning Shanghai into a city of demons. Yeah, and he's dead now. Puppy. Aww. A stray dog in Feng Tian. Friendly, it looks very smart. A mixed breed. He follows the main characters around, which is cute and somehow peculiar. Anne. The a main character's mother. A beautiful Russian woman. Many details of her life remain a mystery. Dehuai's demon took her life before her son's eyes. Aw, that's... That's devastating. <sighs> it's kind of interesting. Uh, I wonder if we're ever going to go to Russia, considering the game seems to bounce around and she's Russian. So we're going to go see like Yuri's origins at the end of the game. So is this like the second part of the game and the third part's in Russia? Uh, young Yuri, aw. The main character is a young boy. He lived peacefully with his Russian mother and Japanese father. But one day his body began to change in abnormal ways. Colonel Ben Hayuga. A Japanese colonel who disappeared during a secret mission on the continent in the 1900s, rumored to have special powers. Sea Mother. She performs rites to ward off evil in a small fishing village in Dalian. She tries to protect the village people from young girl's curse. She used to be a beautiful woman. Lili. A girl from Dalian who lost her father in a tragic accident was forced to lead a cursed life. She took her own life out of scorn for the village and the ocean god. Sergeant Saiji Kaito. An unlucky geographer who joins Kawashima's secret mission. He takes great interest in the world of dark magic during the mission. Wagui of Kowloon. Former employee of Zen's bar, he gained demonic powers by joining forces with Dehuai. He now uses that power to his own end by committing crimes all over the continent. Zong Yun Zen. A hero who fought against Dehuai 15 years ago in Shanghai. He still remembers his old colleague, Colonel Hayuga. His health has declined since he gave up his bar. Lieutenant Ben Ken Sukitani, a young lieutenant who admires Kawashima. He doesn't look like a spy, but he is in charge of investigating Dehuai, a straight arrow soldier. Yeah, I believe he died as well. Kuiwa, Zen's daughter and a master of the Chinese fiddle. Her father's past conflict with Dehuai haunts her to this day. She met Colonel Hayuga in the Quack Oracle when she was young. Master Xiao Feng. A cat transformed to human with Zifa's Taoist magic. He is learning language and customs under Zifa. His streetwise personality hints at the straight cat past. Master Zifa, the Grand Master of Taoist art said to travel on clouds and walk the depth of the ocean. He has gone into hiding in an underground temple, but the story has not been confirmed. Major Karu Kutsuki, an elite soldier for the Army's investigative division. He accuses Kawashima and Kato of revolting against the army who pursues them. Alright, so that's a little recap of everything that's happened so far this game. The really, really cool stuff, by the way. The game didn't need to have this in the game. But I am really impressed by, you know, these options. It, it, it's really, really neat and a nice touch. Obviously, we can't go to the graveyard because Yuri's not here. I mean, Yuri's got to come back, right? I mean, I can't imagine a game about fusion monsters without, you know, the fusioner. Oh, this guy's asleep. Zzz. Uh huh. No, no, I wasn't asleep. I was just uh thinking. That's all. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's a lottery member. Well, I don't sleep like this all the time, you know. What do you do? I won't do it. Um, I want to save up my tickets. Uh, there's no reason to do it now. I thought I could go in this room, but I guess not. Here's a bar. I should have talked to the people outside first who are coming in. Oh, the older I get, the more often I have to. Use the restroom. <laughs> I can't leave Zeus in here. Alright, I can't go talk to that guy. Uh, Pessimatic Chad. Uh, what's this world coming to? Uncle St. Louis. Hmm, I heard some town in the Orient was destroyed, but ah, uh, what's it matter? Pedro Rosa. Time flies, doesn't it? 
can't believe you've all been here for a month already. Are you getting acquainted with the town? It certainly looks like your business is going well. That reminds me, I should get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Do you need anything? Oh, the shopkeeper. Uh, very cool, we got new armor. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase one of each. I would say we should purchase an extra just in case we get another party member. But for now, I think we should just purchase one. Because I have no idea when we get another party member. I mean, you assume you're going to get a third person, right? Uh, we got a new... I don't think the belt is new. I think that's old. The western belt. Um, yeah, we have one in our inventory. That's an old item. Uh, what's new? Bone bracelet. Confusion. And effectual. That could be useful. But confusion isn't too bad. Because when you're confused, you can always use an item to heal confusion. Uh, let's see. Uh, there are some things in here, though, that I probably need to buy. The width of the hit area increases 20% as an accessory? Huh. Well, that makes it so that you could really do some crazy things. Um, uh, especially on Yuri. Because you could make it so that his uh, power keeps going up. Uh, let's see. I need items, though. Mana Root. Restores 200 MP. Uh, some of these would be really good. Alright. Uh, let's see. I also need... Uh, we have eight pure seeds. I would really like a few more of these. Not a ton, just a few more. Because going berserk is horrible. And I don't wanna and I wanna avoid that. We have ten unconscious items, which is good. Uh, we need more of these because we use some. So we'll go ahead and cap this out at 15. Imps Fang, we're gonna need about 10 of these because we use 10 of them. I mean five of them. Alright. Um, I really would like some more of these because ring abnormalities I have found are the worst thing in the game. Uh, let's see. Um, users hit area doubles. All hit allies hit area. S um, hmm. But so is all allies. We need a lot more of these. And I think that will be all of our buying for now. Let's save some money. Oh, Zuzan came back. Uh, let's make sure that we have our new equipment. Strange we didn't get a new uh, weapon, but we will definitely use our new armor. Oh, what's the matter, Alice? You seem depressed. Are you thinking about the kid again? Huh? Oh, it's just that I can't believe it's been half a year already. I asked Marguerite to bring me to Europe, but... What? What if he's dead? Uh, don't be ridiculous. You do know that kid's not that kind to die so easily. Even if he has been absorbed by a monster. As long as his soul remains alive, we'll meet again. And besides, your sixth sense tells you that he's still alive, right? I'm not sure, but that's how I feel. Uh, don't you believe that if we continue our work, we're bound to run into him again? All the dots. That's why she's doing this. Yes, I did. Uh, I thought that would have been Marguerite. I guess not. I guess it is just the two of them. I wonder what happened to her. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you at this hour? Terry. Oh, he's got a picture. Um, I heard I could find some exorcists here. Huh? Well, that's us. Oh, if you've come looking for us, I assume you need something exercised. Yes, my name is Terry. I came from Bistritz, a small village east of here. I run a general store. Bistritz? It's quite a trip. Must have been a hard journey. Well, by the look on your face, I'd say you must have had a good reason. Why don't you tell us your story? Right, it's it's like this. My village is attacked by vicious monsters every night. 
Uh, vicious monsters. It started about a month ago. Every night, dark shadows surround the village. They're they're not human. No matter how many bullets they take, they don't die. So many villagers have lost their lives. I heard a rumor about you from a friend, so here I am. Uh, are they the ghosts or demons, I wonder? Hmm, come on, tell us everything you know. Well, Bistritz is a small village located about two days' walk east of here. A lord used to rule the village, but his bloodline died out some 300 years ago. The strange thing is that since the attacks began, there have been lights seen in the castle windows. Lord? 300 years ago. Bloodline. Castle. Lights on windows at night. Is it just me or does it sound like a vampire? Oh, we're gonna hunt vampires now? I think that's great. Oh, I remember, I remember when I was in high school, I hate, I hated horror things growing up, but when I was in high school, uh, a teacher made us read Frankenstein and then Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I always thought those were like the worst books you could read, but then I realized that the books have nothing to do with the like movies and TV shows that came from those books. And they're actually really good stories. Uh, so yeah, this sounds great. Are the monsters in the castle related in any way? I really hope there's a vampire. I don't know. There's no history of any of our liege lords ever attacking his people. However, in the off chance that it does involve the castle, I would like you to investigate. I'm here on behalf of my village to ask for your assistance. Will you accept the job? And what's interesting is about uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula is it came out the same time that the uh, Jack the Ripper killings were happening. So that made, you know, the, the story even scarier. Uh, especially for the time. Ah, uh, so it would seem that you got two assignments for us. One, getting rid of the monsters attacking the village, and two, investigating the Lord's castle. Yes, even at the very moment, the monsters are preying on my village. I am so worried about my wife and daughter. You're our only hope. Let's check it out, Susan. Marguerite should be back soon, too. Oh, she is here. Excellent. Oh, all right, leave it to us. We'll eradicate those monsters for you. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, we're waiting for one of our companions. But once she arrives, we'll go straight to Bistritz. Wonderful. I'll head back and tell them the good news. Just wait for us to get there, okay? We'll be right behind you. Certainly. Excuse me. See, now I'm wishing I would have bought another uh, skirt for uh, Marguerite. Or whatever the uh, the female armor is. Sounds like another tough job. Bistritz has an old reputation for being a target for monsters. Flatatious Uria. I've heard the same. I've always been a poor village. I've never heard anything good about it. Well, we're all well acquainted with monster dens. Constantly wandering into them back in Asia. Susan, do you think we're a terror will be okay? I've had a bad feeling about this. Uh, now, now, stop trying to scare me. Marguerite will be here soon, and then we'll be off. Ah! That doesn't sound good. What was that? Uh, it can't be. That scream came from over the castle walls. I really want to go back and buy another. Ah, Marguerite said she'll be back, but until she comes back, let's uh, let's hold off. I don't wanna, I don't wanna use uh some money on something that may or may not happen. I'm gonna search down this way first, hoping for a lottery ticket. Ah, it's not a lottery ticket, but it's a Karen scale, which. Yeah. Ugh, the monsters. Suspicious old woman? Oh my gosh, look at those eyes and the teeth. Is she a vampire? Did we get vampires earlier than I thought? Yeah. Uh, what? What's this terrible evil I perceive? What the heck are those? That is some weird monsters. Uh, let's see, Birdman. This don't look like Birdman. Uh, Blessed Light. 
Oh, a good way to start the Asian Chronicle. Okay, they don't have a ton of life. That's good. So not so not like the monsters of a uh, pre high tower. Hey, you hear that sound they make? All right, I think we can save our MP here. Wow. Ah, as soon as I open my mouth and say, "What a great way to start the Asian Chronicle," I completely whiff. Ah, it happens. Level up for Zuzen. Fantastic. Who is this creepy old woman now? Terry, are you alright? Oh no, Terry's dead. Ugh, they followed us. Please save the village. Michelle. Nina. Herc. Terry. Uh, dang it, we were too late. So a female vampire. Ooh, that's interesting. A lot of the vampires that you usually see are either males or not vampires. I think of another game that I played uh, not too recently. Um, or like spawn of vampires. Because normally when you think of vampire, you're thinking of, you know, Dracula. We should have stayed with him. Uh, there is nothing we could have done. That evil I was feeling. This was no ordinary monster. You felt it too, surely. That blood-sucking hag could have killed us too if we weren't careful. Yes, it's the first time I felt such evil in Europe. Susan, I don't think we can wait for Marguerite. Blood-sucking hag. Yep, definitely vampires. I think you're right. Maybe the two of us should go on ahead to Bistritz. Yes. So a good thing I didn't buy the armor, I guess. And we need to leave a note or something for her, though. I can't believe monsters showed up in this town. Thank God you're here to protect us. I'll pray for your safety. You're going to Bistritz? You take care. It's in such a remote area. There's no telling what kind of monsters you encounter. I'll let Miss Marguerite know what you want. Don't, don't worry about it. Good. That's what I wanted. Let's go ahead and explore the restrooms, because if we, we played Silent Hill enough to know that you can find some good items in the restrooms. Um, no, there's nothing here. All right, let's check the other restroom. Oops, wrong one. Wait, can we uh can we manipulate that? Uh, formation. Switch with Zuzen. No, we cannot manipulate that. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and put Zuzan on the front. That way he can do some physical damage. And maybe we can even equip him with something that helps with physical damage. Uh, uh, I know we have a belt, don't we? Western belt, yeah. Cool, that'll work. Alright. I guess we're heading to uh, Bistritz. I really hope I'm saying that right, and I'm probably not. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your uh, country. Oh, what are you doing here? Let me guess. You're up to you to golf? Here for some acupuncture treatment or some yaksa bush? Sure. Uh, tell me the moon could be more powerful. Um, we'll do that. And. Um. We will also. Wow, that's really expensive. Yeah, I don't know if I want to take that high. Look at that price. Oh my goodness. See, this is how important money is. 88 attack power. You can make this go from 76 to 88. That is a huge bonus. I guess that's why I had the uh, the two money things on. Because getting money is going to be really helpful. Oh, it's a sound peddler. Uh, let's see where we're at. Uh, 1745. I really want to get the 8,000, although I have no idea if the 8,000 is good or not. Because unfortunately, they don't tell you what the item does, you know, when you select it. Tisk, I let them get the best of me last time, but I'm ready for anything anyhow. I'm surprised you survived. Nothing in the corners? In this game, you always want to check the corners of an area. You never know. See? Exactly. You received a lottery ticket. Hey, that was the lottery ticket I was looking for earlier. 
All right, nothing else here. So I guess our time in Prague is uh, complete if I can not get caught up on people and actually run in the right direction. <laughs> oh, by the way, I hope everyone's having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Don't know if I've said that yet, but you can never say that enough. I want nothing but blessings and goodness and health to all this upcoming 2022. And I really want to go back to Prague because there was something on the wall there that I couldn't get to because the guy was in the way. Ah, oops. Ah, sorry. Uh, it, if it has to do with spirits, leave it to us. From exorcism to find lost objects, we're ready to help you. For the fastest, cheapest, and most skilled exorcists around. Call Alice and Susan today, is what the bad nose says. All right, well, yep, yeah, that was totally worth it. Now, let's uh, let's head on out, and we'll head to uh, Bistritz. Bistritz? God, I really wish I knew how to say that name. Oh, hello, look at this place. So, this is Bistritz. There is certainly is a spooky air about the place. Reminds me a lot of the uh, the village that we went to at the beginning of the game. It's been quite a while since I felt such a strong, ghostly presence. This is exciting. Don't be overconfident. First, we should look for Terry's shop. Yeah, and give the bad news to his uh, family. Yeah, let's do that. I just wish we weren't uh, the ones who had to break such bad news about Terry. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, um, let's go ahead and drop a save here because the last thing I want is to die and have to replay everything all over again. Looks like a church, but the entrance is closed. Uh, closed, look at that. Look at the tracks on the floor. This place is creepy. There's a sign for weapon shop, but the door seems to be tightly locked. It's locked. It's locked. Found some in the corner. You see the man seat again. You really want to search corners in this game. It seems to be like that's where the really, you know, that's where the loot all is. Um, Kaldi Ido. Ay! Is it a monster? Looks like something, it feels like something is breathing quietly. Who is it? Dad, is that you? No, it's a monster. Wow, that is horrible to say. I'm a friend of your father. Dad, is that you? Come inside. Who are you? Where are the exorcists from Prague? Terry asked us to investigate the village. Exorcist? Where's my husband? Terry is. Oh, look at her face. Oh, she knows. Nina, why don't you go play over there? Mom? Her eyes are really creepy in that picture, though. Oh, the dots. I see. Mom? Mommy, is Daddy dead? Will he ever come back? I'm afraid not, Nina. Daddy went to call these people to come and save the village. Oh, he? I'm so sorry. I wish we realized sooner. Maybe we could have saved your father. Dots. No, that's all right. The important thing is that you came. Oh, uh, we will do everything we can. I'm sure we'll be able to send the monsters packing. Thanks, mister. Oh, Mayor. Kevin. Oh, look at that mustache. Hello. Hi there, Nina. Michelle, I heard that some strangers were seen coming into the shop. That'd be you folks, I suppose. I'm the mayor of this village. The name's Kevin. Uh, we're exorcists from Prague. The master of this shop asks for our services. Aha, so that's what's going on. Most reassuring. And where's Terry then? He's not with you? After Terry gave us this assignment, he was attacked by monsters. 
I see. I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't know what to say. You have my deepest condolences. It's such a shame. Just when you made arrangements to move to America. All the dots. But you needn't worry. I will make sure you are taken care of. Please do your best to cheer up. Kevin, you don't have to worry about us. Nina and I have each other. Now, we're not strangers, so don't hesitate to call me at any time. Whatever concerns you might have. Woo. Well, I guess I'll be going. I should warn our two exorcists that the monsters appear when the fog turns red. Please be careful. Well, that's interesting. It's very solid hill like. You know? The mist is out, the monsters are here. Except in this case, the white fog is okay, but the red fog is bad. All the dots. Were you all planning on going to America? Yes, a good friend of my husband's is in New York. He sent us a lot of gifts and took good care of us. From this fall, he was going to help us with work over there. But now... He's a famous professor at New York University who grows flowers. I see. Oh, well, let's you and me go take a look around outside. We need to explore the village a little more. Ma'am, what can you tell me about the castle where the Lord of this domain used to live? The nobleman's castle? Yes, the castle of Bister. It's called Blue Castle. It's an ancient castle past the forest east of the village. It was deserted 300 years ago. No one goes near it. Are the monsters coming from that castle? No, there are no mo there's no monsters in the castle. Nina, you promised not to tell that silly story anymore. But, Mom... I'm sorry. Please find out what you can about the village. I'm awfully tired. We have to rest. This is reminding me of Mordavia a little from uh, Quest of Glory 4. We have like a little girl who says there's nothing wrong with the vampire ridden castle, which we're assuming is a vampire ridden castle. By the way, Quest of Glory, our first game that we played on the channel. I mean, looking back on it now, we had a ton of issues with, you know, just technical stuff and everything in that game. But that game was so much fun. Not the game, but the series was so much fun. And I'm really glad it was the first one we did. Uh, we'll be leaving then. Sorry to have brought to you such bad news. If you can think of anything else we should know, please be sure to tell us. I'm so sorry. We won't let your father's death go to waste. Oh, great. The fog's red. The fog is turning red. Uh, so it's time for the monsters to show up. Uh, I can't remember the last time I was this excited. Let's leave them alone for now. It feels like somebody's breathing quietly. Man, the uh, the music suddenly changed for the worse too. We received a talisman and wisdom. It's kind of scary to have to fight with only two people, especially when they're not warriors. You know, you don't have that brute up front that can uh, win you the uh, the normal encounters. The gate is sturdily locked. A dark and seemingly endless forest stretches across the other side. So do we have to go to the cemetery, perhaps? Oh, this place is so creepy. Oh, oh, wait, wait. He says something. You're the terrorist. Uh, you're the... You're not the terrorist. You're the exorcist Terry hired, aren't you? Allow me to be of service. I combine the word exorcist with Terry. We deal in weapons and army here. Go on, take a look around. Oh, great. Now we get new weapons after we just spent money upgrading our weapons. Royal Estoc. Thrusting sword favored by nobles for jousting? Okay, that's hinting at a new character. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, the book. Although there's a possibility our new character could come with this weapon, let me go ahead and buy it anyway. And also, let's buy another chainmail vest. Vest. 
and another Silk Bolero. Because we have no idea if the new character is going to be male or female, and I missed. Darn it! Well, we are completely booked now. I mean, I think that was a total waste of money. But you know what? That's what happens when you do a blind let's play. You you waste money sometimes because you never know what's around the next corner. Uh, yeah. It's just what's going to happen. Is it me or did the music change now that we're in this new area? It seems like the battle music is completely different. Ooh, there's three of them. No, I really hate to use Busted Light every single encounter because that has a lot of MP. Maybe I should just use uh, Zuzen's, uh, Zuzen's uh, special ability since it only takes, what, 15? Also thinks that we're not getting any fusion points from this because Yuri is not in our party. Zuzen, can you kill one of these guys in a single salvo up front? The answer to that question is yes, he can. Good, good, good. Ooh, that did some damage. I'm gonna have you defend because he can easily win us this fight, finding I don't miss. Twenty-two hundred cash. I mean, we'll we'll make back our money. But like I said, we're not getting any fusion points, which is kind of disappointing because Yuri is nowhere to be seen. Uh, it was something I need to do. I need a cure. It's locked. There's a rustling sound. I feel something evil from the other side of this door. Oh, this is the mayor's house, right? Mm. Did you notice how Michelle and Nina were kind of cold to the mayor? Something's fishy here. Let's ask the people here. So is there someone with the mayor? I mean, there was an old woman who was definitely really creepy. I like how all the red fog is on the ground now. Oh, you actually went first? That never happens. Aw, oh, missed the blue. This might do enough damage. Are you kidding me? I am like... Yeah, I'm like five hit points off of that killing everyone. So if I'm gonna use the uh, the flame dance, I need it to be a uh, a uh, perfect attack, or it's not gonna matter. Why can't I hit Alice's hit meters though? I don't understand that. There we go. Her meters are really small, I will say. Moving on. Um, I'm supposed to talk to people. Well, talking to him is not gonna help. That building's still locked. So maybe this is like the village at the beginning of the game where you have to like go back and forth. Kali Ito, the mayor? Oh, you mean Kevin. He became a mayor because he was rich. He's been doing strange research for a long time, but I heard he's having some money problems now. Mayor's research? Yeah, I know all about that. How he'd be digging all over for some gold. Gold? Beastress has always had frozen ground. Never able to produce more than a horse hair's dropping. Have to make do with what little beastie meat and hides and such we can't scrounge from the forest. The music is so beautiful. Hey Alice, my mom's really sick. I'll look after the shop while she rests. Nina, can I ask you something? The mayor, what kind of person is he? Could, uh, you tell me anything? All the dots. I don't like him. He keeps bothering my mom. He also keeps asking to see all the gifts my dad gave me. From your dad? He gave you lots of gifts? Yeah, one of them is a letter from my dad's friend in America. It's got a cute little leather bag attached to it. It's my favorite. Do you still have it? 
Yeah, I hid it in a secret place. Um, so perhaps the mirror is just an oddball. It doesn't seem to be very well liked. Maybe. Does that mean the monsters are coming from Blue Castle? The master of the castle would never be friends with monsters. Ah, uh, you know, the master of the castle. There are no monsters in that castle. That blonde haired master of the castle saved me from wolves. Wow, this is actually sounding like Beauty of the Beast now. Uh, it did, really? Yeah, a month ago, a person with big wings flew toward the castle. I ran after this person, but I got lost in the forest. Soon the wolves came after me. Wait, a man with big wings? Could that be the Seraphic Radiance? Then the master ran out of the castle to save me. Although, he doesn't. Molly kind of looks like a big man with wings. Well, and when did the master of the castle do? The master of the castle took me back to the village and went home. My mom kept saying that the master of the um, that the master is a vampire. She tells me that if people find out about this, they think I'm a vampire too. Uh, did he uh, suck your blood? No, the master was very nice. We joined hands and sang together. Aww. Oh really? Uh, so it seems there really is someone at the castle. Maybe we need to check out there first. But if what Nina said is true, then I wouldn't think the master and the monsters are related. But he might know something more about the red fog and the monsters. Alice, are you going to see the master? Then take this key with you. You can open the east gate with it. You received the east gate key. There are lots of wolves in the forest. Be careful. We'll be right back. We're here with your mother, okay? Okay. I'm helping my mom. What would you like? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I've already looked at this probably. Yeah, we're good. Anything over here? Yes, there is. A moon card. Ooh. Is that going to allow us to uh, make things even cheaper now? Which is good, considering we just spent all our money. If only we waited. Ah, flightless bird. Oh, he's making the wrong choices. All right, let's go for a perfect here. Yeah! Let's see if this is enough. I think it is. I think we're only like 10 hit points off the first time. Yes, it is. But man, that's risky to have to go for a perfect every time. Level up. Right, Alice, she learned Wish. Okay, let's see what that does. Well, at least we don't have to worry about the Magatama Stone anymore. Um, wish. Cures target except unconscious and berserk. So it's a, um, it's a, uh, all healer. I like how the East Gate is um, asking me a question. Yes, I want to go through the East Forest. Uh, I, I don't know the word. You know the word, um... The item that heals, like, all status ailments. Yeah, it's that. All right, let me go ahead and save. Do I want to stop now? I mean, we're on a natural point where we can stop. Yeah, I think I'll stop here. Uh, that way we can, you know, go fresh into a new area in our next episode. A lot of things are happening here. Um, ooh, it's, it's really interesting, especially considering there was a winged man. And I'm wondering if that's Yuri. We also have a sword for I just had a cool thought what if the master is a vampire and what if he joins us as a vampire on a party oh that would be really cool well we're gonna have to find out in the next episode uh until then my friends my name is about this this is your story based gaming channel I hope you all have a wonderful fantastic week a wonderful fantastic day and until next time so long and take care Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.